ready to fight club this shit. Okay, thousands of likes on Instagram, millions of likes on Twitter. This is the viral altercation at a McDonald's in West Seattle. The internet just cannot look away from. Fox 13's Lauren Donovan is taking a closer look at what exactly set this woman off. So the man who took that video, I just talked with him, and he believes that she was upset somehow with how slow he parked at the McDonald's. Parking lot drama, most all drivers have experienced it themselves. A few angry words and sometimes even a few finger gestures may be exchanged. But this confrontation, this is next level. Come on! Get away from really, my car. you? Boy? Get out of your car, boy, son! Go somewhere, crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Get out of your car now. Relentlessly yeah, returning. Get out of your car. And egging him on. All this allegedly over a parking dispute at a West Seattle McDonald's. Get a degree. Go to school. I am what I Go eat. Go to school. I am what I eat. You see my car versus McDonald's? your car. You're eating McDonald's? As you can hear, the driver makes a few jabs back. I'm so ready to fight club this sh Let's go. Come on. Um, no. Come on. Yeah, oh, no. When he rolls the window up, no. she comes back for You're more. Get away from my car. He revs the engine, and that really sets her off. So much so that she turns around and appears to kick his car. That I feel like I'm being dropped into the middle of this story. And this woman comes at him just 10 out of 10. Looking for answers, I turn to local attorney James Prescott, who specializes in assaults and altercations like this. <laughs> Bye. I just settled a case where a guy was almost strangled to death over a parking space. So my impression is that people's patience has gone down a little bit since the pandemic. I think we all had a couple of years where we weren't interacting with strangers maybe as much as we used to. It seems like maybe a couple of people forgot how to do it. James supports pressing record as a means of holding people accountable, allowing for community review. Just look at all these comments on social media. If she broke the law, it would be disorderly conduct. In Washington state, it's against the law to use words or abusive behavior in an attempt to incite another person. So within the last hour, I was able to speak with Dante Jones. He took that cell phone video. He says during his lunch break, he recalls backing into a parking spot at the McDonald's when all of a sudden he hears beep, 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 beep. Someone's laying on their horn shortly after shouting curse words at him. Then that infuriated woman behind the wheel pulls through the drive through Jones says something in the window upset her further, and then she parks the car, storms into the place, and has a meltdown. Take a listen. Yeah, she's in there flaring her arms around. I'm like, oh, God. And um, she comes out. She tries to slam the door a couple times. And I have my window halfway down, and I'm looking at her. And that's how just the eye contact, her seeing me was just enough. And then she, I don't know, she just started exploding on me. And Tonto wishes that he just had kept up his window, never engaged with her, telling me he press record fearing for his safety. He was worried the police were going to show up and she would flip the script, noting him as the aggressor. And the woman has not been identified, but of course, if she wants to share her story, we are certainly here to listen. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.